<laughs> well, hello, everybody. Had your funnies today? I'll wager you have. You know, the newspaper comic strip has become a national habit. During the past 50 years, American cartoonists have created hundreds of comic strip characters whose daily doings have been followed with avid interest by tens of millions of newspaper readers. Some of those fictional characters have been clowns born to give us needed laughs. Some have been heroic adventurers created to satisfy vicariously our common urge for escape from the routine humdrum ways of life. Here's one, for instance, you all know. A chap named Andy Gump, who's been with us for some 40 years. Your Screen Snapshots cameraman encountered Andy when America's leading comic strip artist came to Hollywood recently for one of their rare get-togethers. Come on, Mr. Gump, take off your head and make yourself at home. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Gus Edson, the artist who bosses Andy's troubled life. Here's Rick Yeager, the cartoonist whose fertile imagination is responsible for one of young America's most admired heroes, Buck Rogers, the man of tomorrow. If you're a dog lover, you undoubtedly know an oversized problem pooch named Napoleon. And I think you'll be glad to meet Napoleon's boss, artist Cliff McBride. Buck Rogers, syndicated by the National Newspaper Service, was one of the first strips to deal with the super science and interplanetary adventure in an exciting future world. The parents of any normal boy can tell you what a stimulating effect it's had on youthful imaginations. Napoleon, who had a real-life prototype in Cliff McBride's own pet, is syndicated by Lefebvre newspaper features. This trio, Milton Kniff, Walt Disney, and Ham Fisher, are kingpins in the cartoon world. Kniff's Steve Canyon strip is drawn for the Chicago Sun-Times syndicate. Disney's famous Mickey Mouse is a King Features star. Meet Bill Zarba of the United States Treasury Department, cartoonist Tony DePreta of the McNaught Syndicate, and James Swinnerton, veteran comic stripper for King Features. McNaught's Rennie McAvoy is famous for his Dixie Dugan strip. Al Vermeer does Priscilla's Pop for NEA, and Jay Irving, a McClure Syndicate topliner, draws Willie Doodle. Here's George McManus, who's bringing up father cartoons syndicated by King Features, have had America chuckling for years. With him is Gene Ayers, a Conover model. Elmer Messner and Roy Justice are editorial cartoonists for the Rochester New York Times Union and the Minneapolis Star. Cecil Jensen draws the syndicated strip, R. Debbie. Meet Elmer Wogan, creator of Steve Roper for the Publishers Syndicate, and Lank Leonard, the originator of Mickey Finn. Fred Neer draws life like that for consolidated news features. Buford Kuhn does the ultra-popular strip, Dottie Dripple. Gus Edson's famous strip, The Gumps, is drawn for the Chicago Tribune New York News Syndicate. Ham Fisher has made his red-blooded hero, Joe Palooka, an international favorite. Scott Long draws editorial cartoons for the Minneapolis Tribune. Joe Fisher does the Chicago Sun-Times Syndicate feature from 9 to 5. Here are Frank Willard, the man responsible for Moon Mullen's zany adventures, and Rayburn Van Buren, the creator of Abbey and Slats, a United Features syndicate strip. Alfred Andriola's pen child is Terry Drake. Mel Casson authors the comic strip, Jess Crockett. Meet Mel Blosser, who draws freckles for NEA, and Bruce Russell, the noted editorial cartoonist of the Los Angeles Times. George Baker skyrocketed to fame with his sad sack cartoon. William Della Torre draws Little Pedro for the Mirror Enterprises Syndicate. Chick Young is responsible for the dizzy doings of Blondie and Dagwood Bumstead, a King Feature Syndicate cartoon, and Blondie also appears in Puck Magazine. Alan Saunders, glimpsed here with Cliff McBride, keeps millions of readers avidly interested year in and year out in the problems of Mary Worth, a publisher's syndicate feature. Here are Reg Manning, political cartoonist of the Phoenix, Arizona Republic, and Milt Gross of Nye's Baby fame. Comic stripper Gus Areola draws Gordo for United Features. John Piorotti does sports cartoons for the McClure Syndicate. Meet Ray McGill, assistant to Chick Young, and Henry Formhalls, creator of the Joe Jinx strip. Ving Fuller draws Doc Sykes and The Gimmick, both syndicated features. 
Charles B. Rowe authors the Daredevil strip. Meyer Mail, editorial cartoonist for the Hollywood Citizen News, and Don Tratchty, whose cartoon character, Henry, is a time-honored King Features offering. Bill Holman of Smokey Stover fame, and Howard Sparber, who draws Timmy for the Chicago Tribune New York News Syndicate. Jacob Mogleaver of the Treasury Department, Al Poston, creator of Sweeney and Son, and Fred Johnson, author of Texas Slim and Dirty Dolphin. 